Hello and welcome to another edition of the Quick Picks Show on bookmakers.com TV. I'm joined this week by the regulars Darren Hughes and Charlie Mullen. And a very well, nice welcome back to Kean Kirby. There must be some jumps racing on somewhere, Kean. It's good to have you back on the Quick Picks Show. Expect to see a bit more of it as they start jumping the, the timber and the... Uh, and a bit of chase action comes into into the UK racing scene. Looking forward to that. Of course, we will also be joined by Alan Seslowski and Jim Coventry from those general sports wizards at rotowire.com. They will be <coughs> Believe of the NFL. Uh, the host banker did come in last week, even if the result in the North London Derby was not as I would have hoped. Uh, regular viewers will know exactly what I'm talking about there. Uh, why don't we kick off this week? We're going into La Liga with Charlie, a bit of horse racing in the UK, NFL stateside, and of course, the host banker from the EPL. Charlie, you're up first. Yeah, thanks, Dean. Uh, let's go to the new camp first, shall we? Barcelona hosting Celta Vigo in La Liga. Um, I'm going for Barcelona to win to nil. Um, Barcelona currently sit top of La Liga, which when you think about all the financial strife they've been through the last couple of years, is quite a quite an achievement in itself. Um, they've got the best attack with 19 goals scored in the league so far this season. Robert Lewandowski, obviously on fire um, since his move from Barcelona. He scored nine of those goals. Um, but they also have the best defensive record in the league. Uh, they've only given up one goal in La Liga this season. And uh, that's actually the best defensive record of any team in Europe's top five divisions so far Incredible. this season. That is incredible. Um, so they are very difficult to beat. So much so that they're on a six-game winning run. And uh, the last five of those wins have been to nil. And um, Celta Vigo's last away game was a 3-0 defeat at Valencia. So the obvious bet, I think, fingers crossed, mm -hmm. is uh, Barcelona to win to nil, which is available at 23-20 to 20 or plus 115, Dean. OK, Barcelona do take on Celta Vigo Sunday, 8 p.m., uh, UK time. Barcelona to win to nil is the pick of Charlie Mullen. Uh, Kian, we'll come to you next. Uh, like I said, there must be some jumps racing on somewhere. The season is back. Yeah, thanks, Dean. Uh, jump season gets back um, this weekend, really, with the uh, Chub stuck out. So, really looking forward to it. And the Persian War uh, Novice Earl, which is a grade two, takes place uh, tomorrow at uh, 10 minutes past two. It's a race previously dominated by um, Paul Nichols and Philip Hobbs. But Dan Skelton has the favourite here in quid pro quo, who's currently a 15 to 8 shot. Um, he looks a bit short on what, what he's done so far. And I think um, at the start of the season, a lot of horses will need their run. So I'll be taking him on with a, a bigger price selection in uh, the Tom Lacey trained uh, Scipion. He was a decent novice last year. Um, if you look at all his runs, he um, lost to Jet 12 by five lengths. He was placed at grade one level. He's also placed in the grade two uh, Leamington Novices hurdle behind Staghorn. And then he rounded off his season with, with a, a winner around Chepso. So he has course experience as well. And also, if you look back at his point to point form, he was only beaten two lengths by Manella Crooner, who was, um, again, a grade one horse last season. So he's got some really good grade form. Uh, he's won around the track and at eight to one or plus 800, uh, he looks like a really good alternative to take on the favourite with. Nice summary that. Scipion goes in the Persian War Novices Hurdle at 10 past two uh, at Chepstow on Friday. So that'll be the first of the quick picks uh, to go into action this weekend. Eight to one or plus 800. That's Scipion. Uh, sticking with horse racing, it's Darren Hughes. Yeah, that's right, Dean. Yeah, we're heading to Newmarket this Saturday for the Dewhurst Stakes. And I am siding here with Shaldine uh, for Andrew Balding and Judmont. Uh, Judmont actually had the favourite in the race in the shape of Nostrum, who's a uh, two for two for Sir Michael Stout. But I'm not convinced by the strength of that form. Um, he won a decent enough maiden in Sandin in July. And then he came out and won his group three, beating Holloway Boy in Newmarket the last day. So admittedly, he does have course form, but I'm, I'm not sure that Holloway Boy is a real tip topper. I think his, his, uh, Reputation is inflated due to his his win at Royal Ascot over the summer and in a race I didn't think amounted to much. Shaldine, on the other hand, has been pretty solid. I think he's comfortably has the best form in the race and everything else in the race for me has to find at least five or six pounds to get up to what he has done so far. But I think this guy could improve again. Style of a race and it's going to suit the new market perfectly. Uh, I always want to be on the front end of the new market. It's, it's not a track you can make up ground very easily, particularly if the ground is uh, anyway good or better, which it looks like it might be this weekend over there. I think he's been underestimated because his last win came in a, in a three-runner race in Doncaster where he made all, but I was actually very impressed in that day and I take a very positive outlook on that form. So for me, around four to one, Shaldine is a very fair price at that, plus 400 for our American friends and I'd be surprised if we can't get the job done. Yeah, that's Shaldine in the Dewhurst, of course, at Newmarket, 3 p.m. UK time 
on Saturday, four to one plus 400. Okay, that's the horse racing done, bit of the Liga done as well. Uh, it's time to go stateside over to Alan Seslowski and Jim Coventry at rotowire.com. I'm Alan Seslowski along with Jim Coventry from Rotowire, and here are our two best bets for week five NFL gambling. I'm taking the Arizona Cardinals to score less than their 21 and a half point team total to start the season. The only time the Cardinals have surpassed 21 points was in an overtime game against the Raiders when Las Vegas stopped playing defense in what was an easy win. They also scored 26 against the Panthers, who kept giving Arizona the ball with good field position. This week is going to be a big problem for them. The Eagles have held the Vikings, Commanders, and Jaguars to all less than 21 points, and the Cardinals may have a worse offense than each of these teams. Philadelphia is near the top of the league in pass coverage and pressure rate, while the Cardinals have no running game. They'll be one-dimensional against a team that can take away everything they like to do. Also, Kyler Murray rarely runs anymore. He hasn't reached 30 yards in a game. I see this one ending with the Eagles winning 33-13. to the defense first Dallas Cowboys are getting four and a half points in Los Angeles against the Rams. After leading the Cowboys to a 25 10 win over Washington in week four, backup quarterback Cooper Rush is the first quarterback in franchise history to win his first four games. Cooper Rush is averaging 225 passing yards, Jim, and just over a TD in his full three starts, zero interceptions. The Cowboys will need to get the running game going to keep the ball away from the well-coached Rams, who have been near the bottom of the league so far in offense. The Super Bowl champion Rams, along with every other team in the NFC West, are locked up at 2-2. Two and two. The Rams will feel the pressure to separate from the field, but this game will likely be decided, in my judgment, by whoever has the ball last and an easy three-point kick could be the difference. The four and a half points is a nice value for a team like Dallas who can easily win the game outright. I'll take the Cowboys on the road. Give me the four and a half points. Okay, thanks, Alan and Jim at rotowire.com, of course, previewing with their best uh, picks from week five of the NFL. Jim taking the unders for the Arizona, sorry, for the Arizona, Arizona Cardinals <laughs> minus 21.5. And uh, Alan, who's on a seriously good run with his NFL quick picks, is going for the Cowboys uh, with four and a half points uh, over the LA Rams. Okay, it's time for the host bank. Uh, we're sticking with the EPL uh, after a winner last week, although, as I said, the result not going exactly as I would have liked in the North London Derby. I'm going with Chelsea this time. Uh, they're starting to hit their strides under new manager Graham Potter. I fancy they will... Um, well, I fancy they'll put Wolves to the sword this weekend. They're at home, 3 p.m. on Saturday in the EPL. Um, I think they're going to win to nil. The current price for that is six to five. So Chelsea to win both teams to score. No, six to five or plus 120 for our American cousins. And that is the host of Banker this weekend. They had a great result in Europe during the week. And I think it's time for them to put the pedal down under Graham Potter. OK, all the bets are on your screen now, including the host banker and the picks from our esteemed panel here today. That's the Quick Pick Show on bookmakers.com TV. We'll see you all again next week. Good luck back in those winners.